Hello, defense attorney Mark Rosenfeld. I wanted to talk about a common question I get, which is, did the police have the right to pull me over and stop me when I was driving down the street? This is a common question I get, and the answer is, it depends. Police officers need reasonable suspicion to believe the person committed a crime before they can pull them over and stop them and then question them, and maybe it turns into something more like a DUI arrest. The most common reason people are stopped is because they've, they have been accused of committing some sort of vehicle code violation or an infraction. And police officers can stop you if they believe you have committed an infraction. And the vehicle code is filled, it's a huge document filled with, with thousands of reasons why someone might be stopped and cited for a violation from moving violations to equipment violations. So if somebody is speeding, if they run a stop sign, if they don't have registration tags, if they have tinted windows that obstruct their view, there's many, many reasons why a police officer could stop somebody. And many times this is gonna be considered a lawful stop, but we need to look into it to see what it is the officer said cross-reference that possibly with with dash cam video or other video and see whether the officer did in fact have a reason to stop somebody. But if there was a vehicle code violation and infraction, then the officers are probably going to have a right to stop. And then the question is, how long can they stop and does that turn into a more prolonged detention, which we can look into and argue about in court. But if the officers have reasonable suspicion to believe somebody was speeding and, and they stop someone, that's probably going to be okay. Another reason that a lot of people get stopped is because they enter into a roadblock or a checkpoint. Now, this is more of a gray area. Uh, checkpoints or roadblocks can be legal under certain limited circumstances. There are a lot of rules and regulations that the police officers have to follow in order to set up and run a lawful roadblock. And if they do this, then a judge will probably say it's okay, they followed the rules for the limited purpose that it was set up for, for a limited time in a limited location, they can do that. But if they don't set up the roadblock correctly, giving the proper notice and taking into account the proper safety uh, factors, then a judge could say no, it was not a legal stop and therefore the evidence obtained should be thrown out. So infractions is a reason to stop a roadblock or a checkpoint, maybe yes, maybe no, it depends. Another reason that police come into contact with people may be because they've been involved in a traffic accident. And if there is an accident, then the police can come and investigate they're not necessarily stopping someone because they suspect there's a crime, but they've got to investigate and make sure that people are okay. And this kind of falls also into the community caretaker. If somebody is uh, sleeping in a car in an unusual spot that may not be safe, the police may have the right to contact that person. So if there's an accident or some other reason why the police believe the person may be sick or injured, then they can conduct an investigation to determine, to find out if the person is sick or injured or whether they need medical treatment or whether they're okay. Now, if during that contact, they smell the odor of alcohol and it turns into a DUI investigation, then that's based on additional information. But that initial contact, you know, why did they stop me? Did they have a reason to stop me? There's a lot of things that need to be looked at. And the most common reason, as I said, is that there's an infraction violation that's alleged. Stop sign, speeding, weaving, all of those can be. We need to look into it. We need to uh, test to make sure that th these things can be proved. But that is a common reason, some of the common reasons why somebody is stopped and we need to look to see is it legal or is it not. If you've got questions about your particular stop in Los Angeles, feel free to give me a call. You can reach me at 310-424-3145. Once again, this is attorney Mark Rosenfeld, and you can reach me at 310-424-3145. Be safe.